Did you know? Swine development began in 1997 when a team with no prior experience embarked on creating a game like Command and Conquer. Originally named Trail, this 2D RTS game caught the attention of Channel 42, a part of Automex LTD, which provided the funding needed to transform it into a 3D spectacle. Just three months after Channel 42's investment, in May 2000, a demo was crafted for the European Computer Trade Show. This marked a pivotal moment in Swine's journey as it stepped out of the garage and onto a larger stage. It was at this trade show that Ravensburger, a company best known for its child-friendly board games, saw something special in the game, then known as Trail. Seeking to establish a mature-oriented computer game division, they picked up the game for further refinement, eventually releasing it as Swine under Fish Tank Interactive. Interestingly, the publisher initially withheld the map editor, citing its lack of user-friendliness. It wasn't until 2019, when the HD remaster released, Kite Games was still hesitant and unwilling to make it available, only later when prompted by fan outcry, that this map editor tool finally became available, showcasing the power of a dedicated fan community. Under the hood, Swine runs on the Gabar game engine, a testament to the ingenuity that can arise from a team venturing into uncharted territory. The game engine used in Swine is graphically and technologically superior to what other RTS games from the era have used. Yes, you heard it right. First-time game developers made their own game engine for their first game ever. Now that's something truly impressive. As development progressed, plans for a rat race and a mission expansion pack were abandoned due to time and budget constraints, especially when the team shifted focus to their next venture, codename Panzers. Peering into the game files reveals a treasure trove of unused upgrades and special abilities for tanks, hinting at the expansive vision the developers had, but sadly, couldn't do. Delving deeper, we uncover traces of an unused character, a rabbit president. The plot could have taken a different turn, adding another layer of intrigue to the game's development history. The final game missed the mark on certain elements, like you couldn't go below the bridge. Also the beta intro voices that underwent changes. Take a listen. Hey guy, what's the definition of a good rabbit? I don't know. What is it? Easy. The one that doubles as a tank thread. <laughs> <laughs> A Hungarian-only manual holds the key to understanding the alterations made to nicknames and other vital information. Throughout development, the camera became more restrictive, with reduced zoom and angle changes in the final game. Some models, like the pig hard tank with red bumpers, underwent changes, and the idea of tanks wearing out over time never fully materialized. Some levels were in daytime, like the Rabbit Airport mission, then there's some minor changes to user interface. In the intricate tapestry of Swine's development, there's a subtle detail that often goes unnoticed. The mention of an unused font known as Underline. This seemingly innocuous element adds another layer to the game's history, showcasing the attention to detail the developers invested in their creation. Hidden within the digital confines of Swine's coding, the Underline font remains dormant, a relic of creative decisions that didn't quite make it into the final release. One can't help but wonder what purpose this font might have served. A distinctive style for in-game text, perhaps. Headquarters used to have stats about the tank at the bottom. 
And lastly, the Enigma of God Mode, a feature whose true purpose to this day remains a mystery. What secrets lie within this mode that players have yet to uncover? In the 10th Rabbit mission, a curious and unexpected twist awaits players as they approach the bridge. Brace yourselves, commanders, for a strategic maneuver that can turn the tide of battle in an instant. Because the moment you reach the bridge, every tank will immediately start moving towards the gate to protect it, so you won't be able to cross it. Get ready for a quirky twist in the seventh rabbit mission of Swine. Cheating your way through the game can sometimes lead to unexpected and downright amusing outcomes. So, commanders, brace yourselves for an alteration in the pig tank behavior that turns the tide of battle in a rather unconventional way. Instead of the usual scatter or retreat one might expect, the pig tanks, relentless as ever, choose a different course of action. All pig tanks from left side of dam will come to you, and you will need to defeat them if you want to move on to next mission. Here's a tip. Did you know you can see the hidden tanks along the border? Swine is filled with subtle details that attentive players can spot. And to do it is very simple. Make sure you tow some tank, then block towing truck, and when it circles around, the tank you're towing will go outside the border, allowing you to see tanks you should not be able to see. In some cases, this will allow you get an Easter egg in some of missions, while in others, accidentally fail the mission. Did you also know that Micro Commandos also has lots of unused content, ideas, cut jail mission? For more facts, check out the video by clicking the card on the screen now. Speaking of videos, for more videos, subscribe to this channel. Hey, at least here, we talk about unpopular games. Did you know gaming facts? So go ahead, click the like button, subscribe, and click on the bell right now.